Hello everyone, today I am presenting my fourth task presentation on graduate rotation internship program with the Sparks Foundations. Okay, so the task is which is given is uh, we have a global terrorism data in which we have to perform exploratory data analysis and perform and get out the insights that how terrorism affected the world. Okay, so these are the necessary libraries which I have imported pandas, numpy, matplotlib for data visualization, plotly, and seabones okay these is the data set which i've uh, imported these are the first five rows of data set data set contains 135 columns and in lakhs of rows okay this function i have used for to get the all columns names as you can see below here we are now we are we are having, having access to all those columns all 135 columns because if you see in upper we are not getting all those columns so through this function we get all the access of all those columns then what i did is i filtered out some important columns like year month day the country the, uh, country name province state region and arm type killed how many people were killed how many were wounded etc okay and created a one more new column using uh, by adding two columns killed column and wounded column i add these columns and created a new column called casualties okay and now this is the final data on which i am working after extracting the after extracting the important columns okay so these are these are the missing values which are not uh, which are present inside our data set and the state column is having 421 missing values and same like latitude longitude and other columns are also having missing values uh, we can treat them uh, we can fill them manually or through simple imputer class and other uh, machine learning algorithms right and so let's come to the analysis part first so as you can see this figure tells us number of terrorist activities each year so in if you see here in 2014 the most terrorist activities have been happened from since 1970 to 2017 this data set is giving us data from 1970 to 2017 of terrorist activities okay this data set uh, sorry this chart shows number of casualties each year that how many casualties are happening each year so as you can as you can see 2014 and 15 sorry in 2015 we are having the maximum casualties from terrorism individually if you see in 2014 okay after that number of attacks to attacks in each country that how many uh, number of attacks has been done in each countries by terrorists so iraq is in number one iran iraq sorry iraq is the most affected country in which terrorism is actively growing so as you can see here twenty five thousand maximum number of attacks have been done in iraq okay and same then it is followed by pakistan afghanistan then in fourth number is here our india then colombia and philippines and all these countries okay now let's come to the this is the region wise map of sorry not map this is the region wise uh, region wise plot of each country that and how many and that how uh, terrorism is growing in each subcontinent for example as you can see in australia and oceania after 2010 there is a big huge amount of terrorism has been seen as you can see here central asia and east asia these are the regions in which terrorism is growing rapidly okay this plot tells us top countries which are affected by uh, terrorism so as you can see here iraq pakistan afghanistan india colombia they all are same okay now number of total casualties in each country so as you can see iraq is everywhere in number one it is totally affected by uh, terrorism act uh, terrorist terrorist groups and terrorist outfits okay then second in, in second number we have afghanistan pakistan india sri lanka and united states okay then this plot tells us number of total attacks in each region that how many total number of attacks have been done in each continents or regions so as you can see in middle east and north africa above then more than fifty thousand has been uh, terrorist attacks have been done by the terrorist and then south then in second number we have south asia then we have third in third number we have south america and then in sub saharan africa and then western europe okay then after this plot tells us number of total attacks by attack time that what type of attacks have been repeated by the 
uh, terrorist so as you can see here more than 80000 bomb explosions have been actively reported by the uh, actively reported by the media and observer in this data so and after that armed assaults have been done which is somewhere around greater than 40000 and then assassination of people and some military personnel so this uh, plot this plot tells us about number of total attacks and casualties by city so as you can see here iraq baghdad's capital is mostly affected 10000 times uh, here you can see number of attacks and here you can see number of casualties have been done casualties in are in very higher rate in iraq instead of some other countries like as you can see karachi which is in Pakistan, Lima, Mosul, which is in uh, Iraq and or somewhere in Syria. And these are the terrorist outfits who have attacked many times. So this data is showing that how many times the, uh, did these terrorist group, each individual terrorist group have been attacked. So as you can see, Taliban have attacked 7478 times. Islamic State of Iraq and Lebanon have attacked uh, 5613 times. Okay. And as you can see, New People's Army, NPA, 2772. And uh, as you can see here, if we come to... As you can see in India, Communist Party of India, the Naxals have attacked 1,878 times, Maoist 1,630 times, and Sri Lanka, if you see, Liberation Tigers of Tamil LM LTDE, who also killed the Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, they have attem attempted 1,606 terrorist attacks. Right? That's and this is in the last Tariq Taliban 1,351. Now let's go to the other plots so this plot tells us of number of total attacks by terrorist groups how many number of as seen above this is the table visualization and this is the graphical visualization of the same top terrorist act, uh, group activities from 1970 to 2017 so as you can see terrorist group activities has uh, started uh, raising from 1980s then it uh, then a fall came then suddenly so it kept increasing and decreasing then after 2010 it certainly got increased and then it never came down let's go to the other map so if you see number of people killed by terror attacks are total number of people are uh, killed in terror attacks are somewhere around 41 sorry 4,11,868 people were killed by the terrorist attacks. Okay. And this is the type of uh, categories in which people have died. So if you see in armed assault, this uh, this much people have been died. In assassinations, this much 24,920 people died. In bomb explosions, we are having higher rate. 15,730, sorry, 1,57,321 people died and so on and if you see the country wise so this much people have been died in afghanistan most of the people have been died albania algeria andorra we have zero count and so on in each country this is showing the countries country wise casualties that how many people have been killed in india as you can see one one lakh ninety three thousand four hundred forty one people one lakh ninety three thousand four hundred uh, yes okay let's come to the next plot number of people killed by the countries this is the graphical view of the same above data so in this way i have visualized all those graphs then what i've did is i have created a dashboard through uh, google data studio okay so this is the control uh, this is the complete dashboard and complete overview of um, of my insights which I, were, which I have extracted from the data set okay so as you can see total number of terrorist attacks have, which have been done is 1,81,691 in 47 years from 1972-2017 and this is the countries and regions 205 countries they have done this all these terrorist attacks have been done in 205 
countries and almost total number amount of people have been this much amount of number of people have been dead okay let's go to the next slide Uh, global terrorism and distribution so number of terrorist attacks have been done how much number of terrorist attacks has been done in region wise as you can see uh, north middle east and north africa is suffering most and then after then south asia then south america then sub saharan and western european and all that okay this is the number of terrorist attacks this is how many number of terrorist attacks have been done on countries so iraq is suffering with 24636 This is Pakistan fourteen thousand three hundred and sixty-eight. Then Afghanistan, then India eleven thousand nine sixty, and so on. Right. This is the geographical data, which is showing country-wise casualties. So as you can see in Peru, that this number, this much number of uh, terrorist attacks have been done, and in white spot they don't have any number of casualties or any number of terrorist activities in their country. Greenland and this is Mongolia. They don't have any. Uh, casualties or any they don't have reported any terrorist activities in their countries okay let's go on to the next slide this is global terrorism and inclusion criteria okay so why they do is like some political economics religious or social goals sometimes this is intention to coerce or intimidate or publicize to large audiences like 98.9% they have did outside international humanitarian law this is and this is the terrorist group and their success rate how many times they have succeeded in doing this so taliban have attacked 7478 times 89.33% is their and their success rate of taliban then islamic state of iraq and lebanon and their success rate is 84% then shining path sl their success rate is 95.21% then as same al shabab 91 and this terrorist group is having 98.99% success rate in terrorism okay and this is the main targets of terrorist who are the targets of terrorist so this is politicians for 23.9% are politicians military personnel 15% Police twenty four thousand almost thirteen percent, government uh, officials eleven point seven percent, business officials eleven percent, and this is transportation like bombings in buses, trains three point seven percent, and this is and baki and rest of the twenty percent, they are come they comes in other categories like uh, general public. Let's move on to next slide. So, global terrorism and type of attacks. What kind of uh, attacks they have done? Bombing. As you can see, forty-eight point six percent. Most of the attacks have been done with bombing. Okay. Then four percent unknown. This is facility attack. Hostage assassination and twenty-three with armed assault. Okay. Number of dead injured people per attack. So, as you can see, in hijacking, uh, thirty-one point thirty-two. a uh, thousand people have been dead then it's in unarmed assaults and this is bomb explosions and this is unknown armed assaults and so on and number of people skim number of people killed in other in some in various types of attacks if you see so in bombing explosions number of people dead or injured is this and number of attacks have been Then is eighty eight thousand two hundred and fifty five and so on. So this data is telling us about how many people have been died with, uh, how which kind of terrorist attacks. Okay, let's go on to the next slide. This is global terrorism and type of weapons they have used. So, as you can see, number of dead and injured people per attack. Oh, sorry, this is the same slide. Sorry. This is the global. uh global terrorism and where should we live so these uh, countries which are marked in yellow they are safe and rest of the countries are not safe when it comes to terrorism this is horn of africa this country is also safe mongolia this is safe and greenland and sulbad these companies are uh, these countries are safe and when it comes to terrorism and tackling with terrorism Let's come to the next slide. Global terrorism from nineteen seventy to two thousand seventeen. So number of terrorist attacks have been done, and uh, in yellow number of terrorist attacks, and in 
a red line what we are having is successful attacks so in 1970s we have number of terrorist attacks are 651 and successful of attacks of 559 okay and in 1992 as you can see 5071 attacks and successful attacks were 4560 attacks right and so on this followed by when it comes when we come in 2001 when 911 happens so 1906 where attacks were done and successful rate was then bombing success rate was 1689 then in 2014 if we see the number of terrorist attacks have been 16903 in which uh, successful attacks were 15015 attacks and then they kept declining so let's go to the next uh, next slide this is a global terrorism from 2000 to 2017 as you can see these are uh, countries which are having less incidents Bahama, Slovenia, Togo, Iceland, Portugal they are having less number of casualties and as we move on there are total number 167 countries so the data gets up updated as you can see here Gabon, Jamaica, Estonia these are having four incidents in which two people were killed or injured and like this okay this is the top 10 targeted countries Iraq, Pakistan, United States, India Syria, Nigeria, Yemen, Somalia, Philippines these are the countries which are most targeted when it comes to terrorism and this is as you can see Iraq, Pakistan top 10 targeted national nationalities also so Iraq, Pakistan, India, Afghanistan, United States, Nigeria these uh, people of these national of these nations have been targeted the most so this is the complete uh, detailed extract data analysis on terrorism data set and thank you for watching